All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys about coordinate geometry, which is a topic that you guys will learn in geometry as hinted by the name. So let's begin. So first we have slope, which is a topic you guys might learn in algebra. But basically, you see a triangle y over triangle x. What does that mean? That means delta y over delta x and delta means the change. So basically, it's the change in y over the change in x. And how do you do that? You do you find the y value of the second of the second coordinate right minus the y value of the first coordinate over the change in the y in the x coordinates so x2 minus x1 so let's use this in an example so we have negative 2 and 7 and 3 and 2 as our two points right and they're asking us to find the slope so how are we going to find the slope it's the change in y over the change in x so what is 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 because these are the x coordinates i mean the y coordinates and we have the x coordinates so what's negative 2 minus 3 right because negative 2 minus 3 and now we have 7 minus 2 which equals to 5 and negative 2 minus 3 is equal to negative 5 so what is 5 over negative 5 that's equal to negative 1 meaning our slope is equal to negative 1. so what do we have next we have the midpoint formula so what is the midpoint formula used to find the midpoint? So given two points, right, you add the x values and you divide it by two. And to find the y value of the midpoint, you add the y values of the two separate points and then you divide by two. And this right here is a coordinate. So this is the x value of the midpoint and this is the y value of the midpoint. So let, let me show you an example. So they're asking to find the midpoint of negative two and seven and three and two. Right, so these are our two points right here, and they're asking us to find the midpoint. So what is the x values? So what's negative two plus three over two, right? Because the x values are negative two plus three. And then the y values are seven plus two over two, right? And this is the value of our point. So it's negative two plus three, that's equal to one over two, and seven plus two, that's equal to nine over two, meaning that the this point right here is the midpoint of these two points so lastly we have the distance formula which is used to find the distance between two points on an xy plane so what is the formula distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared so this looks very familiar to a formula and do you guys know what that formula is it is the pythagorean theorem so this is basically what the Pythagorean theorem is, right? So let me show you an example of how to find the distance between negative 2 and 7 and 3 and 2. So these are our two points, as I said, and we're going to use this formula right here to find the distance. So distance is equal to the square root of, right? So what is x2 minus x1, right? That's equal to negative 2 minus 3 squared plus, right, plus y2 minus y1, 7 minus 2 squared. So this is it, right? And let's simplify. So the distance is equal to the square root of what's negative 2 minus negative 3. That's equal to 5 squared plus 7 minus 2. That's also equal to 5 squared, right? 7 minus 2 is 5, 5 squared. So this the distance is equal to 5 squared plus 5 squared and the square root of that. So that's equal to square root of 25 plus 25 meaning our distance is equal to the square root of 50 and the square root of 50 can be simplified into the square root of 25 times 2 right meaning that our final distance is equal to 5 root 2 if you guys want to learn how to transfer this into this i'm going to make a video soon so check that out and this is how you're going to use these three formulas to find what you guys are asked. So slope, so let me give you a summary of what I just told you guys. So slope is equal to change in y over change of x. You subtract the x coordinates, I mean you subtract the y coordinates and then over the change of the x coordinates. And next we have the midpoint formula, which is used to find the midpoint of two given points in a coordinate plane. And lastly, we have the distance formula which is used to find the distance between two given points in an xy plane. 
So know how to use all three as they're going to be essential for geometry and algebra and as well as the SAT. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.